So let's quickly cover changing the theme of D menu. So if you're unfamiliar with D menu, it's just a simple launcher for applications made by the Suckless team. Now, it is an application launcher, but you can make it far more dynamic. For example, I have my uh, power menu here that I can uh, do different things like lock the screen, uh, you know, restart, sleep. Um, and then I also wrote recently a uh, uh, playback control tool. So if I were to, let's see, uh, let's open uh, VLC. And let me just mute my speakers. And uh, let's see, uh, I think I got some something here. Yeah, some song. So if I'm playing that, I can uh, whoops. I can open my playback control here. You see that I loaded VLC. It has some metadata. I can control the playback here. So it's a, it's a playback control uh, script that is just a very simple uh, script written in Bash that pipes everything into the uh, D menu, which is kind of cool. It's really, really neat because it's very simple, but what D menu can do is extremely dynamic but back to the point of this which is how to configure the theme and by the theme I just mean the text and the colors and the background and stuff because you can change all that right so let's uh, open the configuration file all right so uh, the the configuration is very simple as you can see it's like about 24 lines but it's very dynamic in what it can do so the int top bar here, if we set it to zero, that'll make it spawn on the bottom rather than the top. So let's try that. Uh, then we do a sudo make clean install. All right, so let's launch uh, the menu. See, so now it's on the bottom. So doing things like that is pretty straightforward. Um, and even ev everything else about this configuration is pretty straightforward. To, whoops, I did not mean to close that. Anyway, so the next thing is uh, the fonts. So it's like any other suckless program that I've covered before. It's a list of fonts, and within this list, each font is separated by a comma here, right? So for me, I have uh, Ubuntu Mono here. Then I configure the size to 16. I set anti-aliasing true, auto hinting true. Then, you know, comma. Then I have my next font here, uh, which is the nerd font, size 16, anti-aliasing, auto-hinting, and so on, right? Uh, and that's about it for the, the fonts. There are some other options that you can add, but I think that this is good enough for me. Uh, now, the prompt is just, uh, I'll show you guys right now. So on the left side, they allow you to create a, uh, a prompt here. So you can see my prompt on the bottom here will select playback because my script loads a list of actively running um, media players and uh, the prompt that I want to say is like select playback like you know what program you want to control so if you want to set the prompt you can do that I I wouldn't do it in the configuration um, the, the neat thing about the menu is that even if you have a configuration you can sort of override it uh, when you launch it right so uh, this is just for the stock D menu when you run it right so anyway now we get on to the colors here um, so just like it is in uh, DWM it's the same here so we have our foreground right and then we have our background so if we go and we open D menu again so the foreground here is white right it's always white except in the, the schema out here but anyway uh, so the foreground which is the the text here is uh, white and this is when it's not selected so scheme norm is not selected so this bracket down here for example is um, in the normal scheme right so the text is uh, white and then behind it there's a really neat uh, blue color here right so then if we go to our next um, uh, in the list here our next uh, color it's for scheme selected and this one here is for whatever you're hovering over like for example I'm on four channels right so uh, what's the scheming for this it's white right but on top it's the foreground is white 
and the background is this nice red color here and I'm still trying to figure out honestly what scheme out I'm not too sure because I can't really notice it um, if someone can point that out um, that I'd appreciate that I've I've been trying to figure out what uh, this is exactly I'm not too sure um, because I, I can't notice it to be honest with you um, if we launch uh, the menu I don't I don't see where this is coming in but um, but yeah anyway uh, so that's it for that so if we go over here um, this is the the line numbers that, that it will show so for example let's uh, all right, let, so we're putting it back on top yeah let's say that we want uh, instead of having everything on one line just horizontally across we can set it to to sort of display rows instead so let's say we want four lines right um, let's do uh, so to make clean install right so now if we notice uh, if we run uh, the menu here we'll see that we have four lines instead now you can still uh, search for your stuff here like um, things that you can't see so it's just instead of having everything uh, horizontally it starts to build it vertically and then it limits the amount of lines that you will see All right so we're seeing four lines here every time um, but so let's go back here let's set that back to zero because I just keep everything uh, horizontal then um, this is for when you're deleting certain characters to I guess exempt them I've never used it so I don't really think it's that useful for me so anyway, let's save that now to the the best way in my opinion to do this uh, in DWM because DWM by default if you if you look at the configuration they overwrite the command of uh, D menu and they have this long command I'm not too sure why you would want to overwrite the default configuration of D menu but so there's this long command and originally I tried to like use it and then you know what I said like why am I doing that so I recommend just commenting that out right so if you want to save it just in case if something's wrong just create your own command because if you configured your fonts and everything why are you resetting it here I mean I guess if you're using different window managers at time and you have you know uh, at times you have like different color schemes and they're not always you know the same on across all window managers and you'll tell yourself okay when I'm in uh, DWM I want D menu to launch like this I guess that makes sense but I just recommend commenting it out right and then creating recreating this variable here but instead just run D menu that's it and it will just run this uh, your default configuration which I need to update right now so um, let's go back uh, CD install let's get back to where we were okay yeah, cool so we're back to normal here um, but that's about it for configuring the theming of D menu I, I just found it a little bit strange that in DWM they had that whole overwrite of the configuration it was kind of confusing because I kept thinking to myself like why are we overriding the default configuration but you know I mean I don't know I guess it, it makes it more dynamic right but uh, that's about it for this one if you find this useful please like and subscribe